Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Place of Binding Guys Afterbirth. It is daily challenge time. That is not how you get to daily challenges. We got Eden. Ooh, lots of deaths. And only going to mom's heart, so it's a little scary. Did well, well, well ish on yesterday's daily. Can't complain. Top 600 or so. On this one, it looks like by just surviving to the end, we'll put ourselves in a good place, but you never know with Eden, right? It could be a, like really low HP or something. Razor, $3 bill. And uh, starting stats at 1 for everything. So, it's horrible, potentially. I don't really see myself using the Razor unless we get Horror of Babylon, so... Don't get your hopes up too much about that. Uh, on, on the surface, it doesn't seem that bad. Like, having low DPS is somewhat compensated for by having a, a random tier effect all the time. Not, not fully, of course. I'd rather just have the raw damage, but uh, it's not horrible. Razor Blade is kind of a... Subpar starting item, I guess. But apart from that, it's okay. Certainly, like, at least we're not at one spirit heart or something, or two spirit hearts even of HP. Thought I walked on the creep there and was about to eat shit, but apparently not. Uh, let's go find our item room and see what we can do to make this happen. I mean, of course, you know, you look at a, a run like this, and it goes to mom's heart, and then you see that most people died, and you're like, dying before mom's heart, who does that? But it has happened to us, uh in the relatively recent past, so it doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, all three people kind of underperformed relative to what they're used to. It could just be a very tough daily, or it could be, you know, that suggestion. Um, either of them could happen. Have to imagine Anarchist Cookbook is probably worse than uh, the Razor Blade, but we might be able to use it to get something out of this floor. HP here would be nice, and that's exactly what we got. Um, let's crack open all this stuff. Maybe we'll manage to pick up, like, a little extra money from it. Uh, or the the quarter, which would also be pretty sweet. That's a good use of Anarchist Cookbook, I would say. Basically, we got the quarter out of our item room instead. Unfortunately, no means with which to access our shop. Oh, wait, though, we got a Hermit card. I forgot about that. Okay, let's come back here. Grab this Hermit card. Pop in. Still got the Fool card for later. Ooh, yeah. We'll take a uh, Blank card for sure. And then what's our card to go along with it? Blank card Moon? Uh, certainly better than... Blank card, Fool, accomplishes a very similar thing. We got a key out of this, and this is going to be pretty good, I think. Let's crack this open. Maybe we'll get back to 15 cents. Yeah, there's 16 cents. Uh, okay, so we're set up, like, really nicely right now. This is surprising. <laughs> and, like, let's put it this way. I'm really glad I took, like, a little extra time to walk around and go to our item room and use Anarchist Cookbook. It opened a lot of doors to me that I think are going to make this run uh, markedly simpler. It's, it's actually uh, incredible. How much positivity that's going to generate for us here. Still pretty poor DPS, but uh, very good things happening apart from that. Come on, set him on fire. Make sure these skulls can't do anything. Got to get a little too close for comfort with number one, but rate of fire does compensate for it somewhat. 2020 is exactly what we'd like to see. Ragman should be dead. And Mysterious Liquid to finish the job here. No problem. DPS. DPS is what we want. DPS. That is not DPS, that's more money, which is, I mean, pretty good. We got, like, 11 cents out of it, but um, we didn't really need it. I don't want to look a gift horse in the mouth. It's still a good get, but it's not uh, not necessarily necessary. So, we are going to be looking for a better card. Blank card Moon is okay. Blank card, many other things would be better. Blank card Hierophant, of course, um, would be better. Uh, it also gives us the opportunity to teleport, which we'll do on the curse room here. And because this one only goes to Mom's Heart, we might be looking for a self-sacrifice room if we got the HP to make it work. You gotta be thinking this early. We probably, uh, don't necessarily make the effort to go to the item room first on our first key. We probably want to get to the shop instead. Because if there's a key available, we'll be able to buy it. Even if there's no key, we've got enough money to get whatever else we want that's for sale at least. Um... Might not go to the curse room just yet. It's like a little bit more risky to do that because we'll go down to half a spirit heart buffer. But uh, we'll, we'll see, I suppose. Oh, if we just get a bomb from our shop, that solves our problem too then. Okay, first things first. Get the restock. The restock also gave us infested and a two of hearts and a two of clubs. Blank card two of clubs. Is that better than blank card moon? Probably. So let's blank card two of clubs, and then we'll actually buy the compass because we can afford it. Then we can place our bomb here, pick up these two keys, and go back to our item room. In the meantime, 
Let's take, this is where things are gonna get a little, a little funky. It would be awesome to be able to get the uh, champion belt as well. But first, um, let's come back this way. Go into our item room. Item room is Monster Man Well. I don't even know if it's worth using the bomb to pick it up, to be honest with you, but it would take another book out of the rotation. I'm gonna enter here, and then it's a troll bomb, so we will now make our way out. Tell you what, let's blow this guy up now. Much better use of a bomb, in my opinion. So we could buy another Spirit Heart, um, if we wanted to. I'd prefer not to, but we'll see how things look once we make it to the boss. If we get hit on this room, we'll definitely want to pick up a Spirit Heart to ensure that we can get that deal with the Devil that will hopefully uh, go a long way towards making it easier for us to survive in the future. But we didn't get hit, which actually makes it trickier. I think I'm just going to go for it. Little Horn is not the worst boss we could be facing right now. Just keep yourself going strong here. As like the straight up worst pit that Little Horn has ever thrown out. Just stood right on top of itself. Good. I don't like kiting these things. I oftentimes kite them too long and end up fucking myself. I think that we are well above average on today's daily. We have not been hit outside of a curse room. I, I think our advantages on the first floor are going to be much larger than most other people are going to get. Just as a virtue of the fact that we kind of got a little lucky with uh, Anarchist Cookbook. We probably should take that before we go in, but it doesn't really matter. Um, we'll take a Thame. It's not incredible, but it's good enough. And we could buy a Spirit Heart, but we don't really need to, so I think we just go. We also got Stem Cells, which basically we got a Thame from our boss, which is okay. It's mostly about the precedent. Why are we so fast? Why were we so fast temporarily there? That scared me a great deal. There's no, like, broken stopwatch stuff going on. Stem Cells is not a speed upgrade. Was it an optical illusion? Am I losing my mind? Am I, am I crazy? Am I out of my mind? Um, we're going to be using two of clubs basically every time it's available. And I know people are going to be like, hey, you should try to maximize it so you get 99 bombs. You're not wrong, obviously, but uh, I also feel like basically just getting one bomb, or sorry, two bombs every four rooms is already more bombs than we would ever expect to use. Except in this situation. <laughs> they went in the other direction, but... Yeah, you better run. Now, they went in the other direction, which is good, but I was scared temporarily. There's no reason we shouldn't use bombs a little bit more aggressively than usual, I guess. This appears to not be the right direction. Uh, I was really hoping a Thane would pay out with some spirit hearts for me, but instead it does not. Or did not, sorry. Could in the future. Mob trap room would be nice, but I, I have to admit, we're not really killing it on time right now. And that's not really that big of a get. Oh, it's an XL floor. Okay. I see what's going on here. So we've really got to endeavor to... Ah! <laughs> what did it... Was it a hive mind shot that hit me? That hurts, man. All right. Well, now we have... It's basically open season. That's a lot of bombs. Um, it's basically open season for us. Then we can do whatever we want. But probably will not get a deal with the devil on this floor. Which is really unfortunate because it would be nice. It does also mean that we're probably a little bit less strapped for time than we used to be though. Which is also a positive. This will be a great opportunity for a guppy item. This is not a guppy item. Okay. Well, we can blow up this judgment. Maybe get a better uh, deal with the devil chance. Could have played it as well. It turns out we should have played it at least once. But probably... Not going to make too much of a difference in the whole scheme of things. Is this the floor on which we would like to... Uh, oh, you want out, Tomo? Okay, you, you can go out, Tomo. Um, this Is this the floor in which we want to court that self-sacrifice room? I'm going to guess the answer is probably no. Could be numerically good, but if it ever happens on a later floor, the self-sacrifice room, that is, then this floor is not the right answer. If it doesn't, this floor still might mathematically be the incorrect answer, but... At least it has a chance. Man, Proptosis didn't get the kill there. Really hoping for some solid item rooms, considering uh, what our DPS looks like right now. I guess we can be happy there's no Hush fight. I've been fighting Hush so much lately. This feels like a secret room to me. 
we can kind of relax a little bit, sleep easy, knowing we're not going to have to min-max the hush fight. Of course, it would be awesome to get the points, but everybody would also have an equal chance of getting the points. So it's sort of like, it comes out in the wash, I guess. Uh, another book. So it definitely seems like the book was probably the right thing to take on the last floor. Use a bomb, get the book, and then, uh, you know, eventually maybe there'll be a library and a Perthro rune. Uh, if the dailies are curated, something like that seems plausible. At this point, might as well use bombs for, like, basically every single purpose they could possibly be useful for. Apparently we've got Ouija board tiers there, temporarily. Spectral tiers, sorry, is the canonical name. Damage is still real bad, so not loving the, the libraries so far. Or the, the item rooms that have turned into little mini libraries. And would actually love to pick up an item that maybe does something for us instead. Does the Thame just give you Spectral Tears then? It appears that it might. Nope. It was just $3 bill working out in my favor. Okay. Weird. Uh, let's come back. We definitely want to visit our shop. It, it has an endless amount of items in it. We don't have the money for an endless amount of items. We don't even have the money for one just yet. But uh, one day in the future, that may well change. No tinted rocks either. Small rock would be a huge pickup for us because it doesn't even require the uh, the item room to be functional. We're already up to 46 bombs, so again, I can kind of feel okay to use my bombs for anything, even a terrible play like that. Oh, a theme is gonna hook them up. No demon hearts, but life goes on. Man, our damage though. I'm tempted to like use a bomb for every single enemy. <laughs> at some point, there we reach a, like a mathematical threshold. It's got to be at this point. If we killed every single room with a bomb, we still would never run out of bombs. As long as we used, uh, you know, two of clubs effectively. We're gaining, right now, 43 bombs every four rooms. That's like 10 bombs a room. Although, of course, the more you use it, I guess, the less you get on each subsequent play. Um, Rotten Baby's a really good pickup. That is going to help us speed things along a little bit here, which is borderline essential, I'd say, at this point. If we're going to do boss rush anyway. Easy to see how, like, with a couple of, you know, different turns, this this would not be looking as good for us as it does right now. 86 bombs. It would be awesome to get uh, the black candle. Uh, okay, so we'll get steam sale for free, and then we'll get the black candle. That was easy enough. We'll also get the spirit heart there to give us a little bit of extra protection as we head into our boss fight. Uh, that was very lucky. Or was it skill? No, it was luck. It was not skill. There's no there's no skill involved there. All right, let's get ready for our bosses. We're not really uh, ahead of the, the curve as much as I thought we would be from a time perspective here. And Rotten Baby helps, but it doesn't necessarily completely remove the need for something that makes us a little bit faster. Please? Oh, it actually happened. I was like, if he spawns on top of the, uh, on top of the fire, that's going to be amazing. Okay, no orbitals. But 85 bombs means that I don't expect Gertie to be too long for this world. This is just like that one daily we had that was just bombs. It's not just like it, obviously, because we also have, like, Rotten Baby. But it, it feels like it. I've got 80 bombs, and my tears do basically, well, not no damage, but pretty poor damage. Alright, didn't get hit. Used our bombs effectively. Maybe a minute ahead of schedule. Jesus juice is something. It's it's not awful at least. Uh, I can't be super mad about it. We're on the dank depths one. Come on, good cards. We don't need uh, two of clubs anymore if we can get a, a better card. Not that I'm insulting two of clubs, obviously. Might as well use a bomb here before we double, because we're going to use it anyway. We're going to be at the same amount anyway, I should say. Um, I'm okay with losing a spirit heart to come in here, and then we get a blank card rune and a blank card playing card. Blank card rune is Hagalaz. I would say that is worth less than blank card two of clubs. Blank card credit card, though, is infinite money on a, uh, a situation in which I also have infinite shops. So this seems like where you break the game. And we might be able to just pick up every shop item. If we had chaos, we might be able to pick up, like, literally every item. And chaos is a shop item. So maybe this is how it happens. <laughs> especially with the, uh, especially with uh, the battery charge popping up right there. Let's go into our item room first. And it's the D8. Don't really care. Okay. So we might as well buy converter. Wait, no, 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 no. Credit card. There's no battery charge, though. Oh, that's so shitty. Okay, well, we'll definitely buy these, though. 
and then just put him back down. Take our spirit heart. Oh, but after you use it, it doesn't replenish. Okay. Okay, so I, I see the mitigation now. I still feel like blank card credit card is super great. For deals with the devil, and we also do get free shops, but it doesn't give you free infinite shops. I really thought for uh, longer than I probably should have that that was just going to break the game wide open for us. Why did I buy Converter and Ventricle Razor? Because they, there's no downs, they're free, they're free items. And now they'll never show up in the shop again on this round. More, it comes down to why not, you know? So we've already been to our item room. It was not great necessarily. I, we could reroll our stats, but... In fact, rerolling your stats seems like a pretty good decision, but I'm, I'm kind of comfortable with where we are right now, so I've found myself less ambitious. It's a, it's a metaphor for adulthood. But why rock the boat in our current situation if, if the boat don't need rocking? Ah, that was very unfortunate damage, but HP is still totally fine. Come on. Just one ghost, man. Where did he go? Oh my lord, there's two ghosts! I was lied to. Alright, get ready for blank card, credit card on a deal with the devil. Hopefully... Come on, Gish. Get locked into an attack. I believe you will. You gotta throw those bombs in there, because that's still, like, by far our best means of dealing damage, sadly. Whoop! It's nice that we have, like, well, we don't have unlimited bombs anymore. It's nice that we have so many bombs, but it is still unfortunate that, that that's still our best way of dealing damage. Little Gish will help out a little bit, but man, I'm not looking forward to carrying this run into boss rush. Blank card, credit card doesn't help us out too much in that situation. Okay, we did it. It's a deal with the devil. Please, amazing items. Oh, this is the worst. <laughs> yeah, that's not surprising. Please, Lump of Coal. Ah! Lump of Coal, at least. Okay, we got our Spirit Heart back, too. Man, okay, well, this is, like, not great. It's not that bad, but it's not it's certainly not great. Uh, there is a Dice Room. It's gonna be hard to convince me to, to really use it. Two Black Cards. Because I do like this Blank Card Credit Card synergy that we got going on here, but... Is it enough? I think it's enough, but maybe it's not enough? I guess it depends whether or not we fight Greed here to some extent. If we fight Greed, we're going to be pretty bummed out if we also don't get a deal with the Devil right after. Not right after, you know what I mean. Okay, Pisces is at least a Tears upgrade. Our Dice Room is a 3 room. Rerolls all consumables on the ground. Rerolled a penny into a penny. You're too good to me. Thank you. Um, no Arcade, I think, so we can't do anything with the Boss Trap Room unless we take too much damage to make it economical. Uh, I don't see a self-sacrifice room either. Not that I'd want to skip boss rush point-wise to make self-sacrifice work. So I think it just comes down to the shop, which hopefully is incredible for us. And if the items are good, and we have the money, it would be best to actually buy them rather than use credit card, weirdly enough. Um, because then they'll replenish, and then we can get them for free right after. So why don't we buy pay-to-play once, even though it's not that good. And we should buy Mom's Purse, because pay-to-play gave us money. And then hopefully we can get enough money to get uh, to get BOGO bombs. And then if, our final one we can credit card is what I'm thinking. Also, good opportunity to pick up some extra spirit hearts here. Oh, that one was great. Three extra spirit hearts might buoy us just enough. I'm really holding out for like, uh, I guess, champion belt again. <laughs> it would be nice. Anything that gives us more damage. But there's, there's various, you know, good shop items, obviously. The downside to blank card credit card is that we don't really gain anything from uh, holding onto a charge for it, except the ability to use it later, which is not necessarily meaningful. Blank card blank rune gave us a double algiz or something. It's, that's a weird one. Blank card two of diamonds. I'll tell you what, this is not the right way to use it, but I'm just gonna two of diamonds. The two of diamonds. Well, I mean, a two of diamonds itself. No, I'm gonna use two of diamonds on itself. Which is my money. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. But I'm going to come back in here. We're going to buy BOGO bombs. And then we're going to use the credit card. And by use the credit card, I meant to say use blank card with the credit card. And I fucked it up royally. Now we got blank card Wheel of Fortune. That's not very good. And we got blank card the Empress, which is slightly better. But uh, yes, I did ruin it. <laughs> 
You could probably see the writing on the wall for that one. Let's see how much that affects us. Do we have head of the keeper? That's got to be pay to win, right? Pay to play? Pay to win? Actually, you know what's a great idea? Fuck blank card empress. We want a uh, blank card blank rune for the chance to give us AWAS and take us one floor deeper than we could otherwise get. I didn't actually fuck it up. From a daily perspective, if we get AWAS, it's actually an enormous point boost. So, uh... Sucks to your ass, Mar, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I totally did fuck it up, but as is often the case with my dailies, which is probably infuriating to some people, I fucked it up in a productive fashion. Just like the time that I picked up, uh... Lusty Blood and thought it was horrible, but actually, of course, it's incredible. So this is a good situation. Obviously, we're completely going to make it to, uh, Boss Rush. Larger question becomes, you know, what runes are we going to get on there? Because we will... There's no teleport runes, right? So we should exclusively get stuff that we're interested in at the very least, even if it's just like Hagalaz. We'll take the Polaroid. Doesn't, doesn't matter, I think, at all. And then uh, in here we get the D6 and uh, how to jump. Uh, it's a weird one because we don't really want the D6 or how to jump. And I need to... Okay, let's start with Blank Rune. This re-rolled them and gave me Little Brimstone instead. Uh, I am a goddamn genius. I don't know how I became a genius. I wasn't one when I started this episode. But now I find myself being one as we get closer to the end. Now, our damage still pretty bad. Let's just be real with that right away. What was this one? This was like blank rune, blank rune. Yeah, it gave us a blank rune. I used that blank rune. It gave us another blank rune. So I think I'll use this blank rune. This one gave us like Burkano, I think. And now we're kind of off the clock because there's no chance for us to fight Hush. I really like, in spite of my own kind of Mr. Magooing my way through the run here. I think sincerely we're gonna be poised for like a great potential uh, daily rank. Our run isn't that strong, but I don't know how you make it that much stronger unless I've so completely mishandled credit card that I can't even fathom the actual mechanic that is used to to exploit it to its its highest degree. So that was Hagalaz, which is actually really nice because it destroyed the rocks. Um, and, and the explosive barrels, which are, you know, as much of a problem, if not more. I gotta admit, damage still leaves quite a lot to be desired. The, the extremely lucky Perthrow rune was so good, though. Like, the odds of that happening are horrible. At least not something you'd want to bank on. And then the fact that it rerolled it into an item that is also good. It's just like the icing on the cake. I'm hoping for more Algiz runes here, because I keep taking incredibly stupid damage. Um, man, what I wouldn't give for a Thame to be Maw of the Void instead of Call to the Void. It's like night and day, man. It's a polyphonic spree song from the Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind soundtrack. We're just gonna basically, like, if you're gonna go grab a drink or a snack or something, now's the time. I don't picture myself being too erudite over the next couple of minutes, so I would just expect that, um, what is M? AWAS, okay, that's good to know. Um, I would just expect that this is gonna be a little dry for a little while here. Um, I hope I'm wrong, of course. But we got a lot of bosses to kill. We're not doing a whole hell of a lot of damage to make it happen. And a slow boss rush is a boring boss rush, in my opinion. Unless we, like, literally can't get hit at all. In which case, it can be exciting and also terrifying. Much like, you know, going to a high school dance. As a high school student, just to be clear. Just want to... Keep ourselves away from that Awaz hole? I hate calling it, call it a passage hole instead. Stay away from my passage hole. I don't know what this one is either. It's possible it's one of the runes that does nothing for us right now. Like, um, I mean, Hagalaz would do nothing because there's no rocks left. And uh, Perthra would do nothing because there's no item pedestals. So, I will say there's a non-zero chance we die on Boss Rush. I don't see it happening, but... It is beyond, a, it's more than an academic possibility to consider. Like, we're not 
doing very much damage, and we've taken more than I would like, but I don't think we're, we've taken even close to, like, a dangerous level yet. Just another 30 or 40 bosses. And we'll be through here. Pestilence, now's not the time. I'm deal- Whoa! What the hell was that? You're not supposed to have uh, chops like that. Are we getting close to the end at least? Because I gotta, I gotta admit, HP is dwindling a little bit. I'm waiting for my Degas runes to carry me. Oh, it's another AWAS! Okay, what we should be doing maybe is tossing in some bombs whenever relevant. Did we kill Bloat? Oh my god, a fire mine shot almost pushed me into the AWAS hole. This is the second angel statue. We gotta be close. At least there's a bunch of red hearts on the ground. I guess we don't have too much risk of dying. Should have been starting every single wave with like a, uh, a bomb placement, I guess. As far as I'm concerned, because of this very niche situation we found ourselves in, every time an enemy touches a, a hole down to the next level, they should be insta-killed. It's just science. No enemy could survive uh, G-forces of that magnitude. Was that the Gaz? Sometimes he announces it, sometimes he doesn't announce it. Your inconsistency is uh, very unfortunate. I think that was Degas. I think I have more HP than I used to. Please, end. I don't even think we're close to the end, to be honest with you. How is a run this good so bad? <laughs> like, how is a run that has, like, blank card silliness somehow, like, a little boring, even? Oh, that was incredibly stupid of me, but we did kill the hush as a uh, the haunt as a result, even though he's not dead yet. Yes, place more bombs. Ah, you fucked it. Burkano. Okay, that's something. No, it's blank rune again. Awas. I can't have any more Awas over here, man. Yera. This doubles our blank runes. Hagalaz doesn't do anything. Michael. There's a lot of, certainly a lot of red hearts available now, though. Just don't accidentally walk into that stupid hole. Holy Christ, it never ends. The pony? Could the pony conceivably be the end? Or does it go on and on, my friends? Did some people start singing it, not knowing what it was? Will they continue forever just because? Oh, shit. It's a Mysterious Baby, a.k.a. Multidimensional Baby. That's pretty okay. Let's head down to our next floor. We could be looking for a self-sacrifice room now. And there is one. Oh, Lord. I think I just accidentally turned up my volume super loud. I think we definitely want to use the self-sacrifice room on this floor. What it does require is a lot of red hearts. So we're going to blow up... That sucks real bad. <laughs> We're gonna blow up like every single rock that can pay out with uh, red hearts. Maybe try to get like some blank card Yeras going. Or even if this this room will drop a spirit heart. If we can get a Yara going here or something like that, that would be huge. Because I want to teleport to the dark room. And I think this is the most likely way to make that happen. We, there's no rune that rerolls everything on the ground. So we don't have a risk there. Come back here. Yera. It's Awaz. I will- I think Awaz is actually worse than the self-sacrifice room, but it's much safer. Worse from a point perspective, of course, I mean. It's much safer, so... There's an advantage inherent there. Oh, another spirit heart. Be, be cool. Be cool with it. The room with the red heart is still better right now, but... That could change. I have every faith in our ability to make this happen. I just want to see if that is a tinted rock. It is not. Okay. We need like 12 HP. As of right now, we have not 12 HP. But we got to be up to like 6, maybe 7. 
we'll see what actually after we fight our boss we could get a deal with the devil although now we probably will not golden heart doesn't count as hp so uh let's go back for a second i think we should just pick up the red heart that's chilling if there is like an easily available red heart This is not mom's heart. Actually, there is an item we're gonna get here. I was stupidly thinking there wasn't. Yera! Yera! Okay, we're gonna take one of these. If we get more Yeras in the future, this will look like a dumb decision, but we're gonna take one of those for now. Let's go fight our boss and see what we get. Conquests. Probably if we actually get to teleport down to the dark room, I will wanna take the white pony. So we'll be monitoring this. You get a huge damage penalty for this. Let's just, like, put that out there. So it has to be compensated for by the points that we'd get for teleporting and ideally winning. I think it would be. But now I'm like, man, our damage sucks so much. <laughs> Why would we even want to go down to the dark room? Well, for the points, basically. Another half red heart. It's not worth really anything at all for us. Um, blow this up. Okay. Uh, let's start making our way back to what I assume was the Spirit Heart Temple, which is what I'm now going to use to refer to as the Self-Sacrifice Room. Not that way. I think it was like right and up. And if we find some more hearts along the way, then, you know, even better. We probably will. And we'll take our blank card back to the room that could be Yared for more HP. I'm trying to think of any, if there's any, like, blank card, uh, payouts. Blank card, uh, blank rune payouts, I should say, that would help me out on the self-sacrifice room. I don't think there are. Like, an Algiz doesn't do shit for us, unfortunately. It just wastes our time. So we do have a full charge. We should go back. One more Yera would definitely settle this. Not that it wouldn't be hard to still do what we wanted to do, but it wouldn't, wouldn't be impossible any longer. Um, okay, let's blow this up as well. That's not Yera, that's Burkano. But, oh, it also, never mind, it's blank, I don't know, man. A was second A was. Ooh, we could pop blank rune, but I think it's a little bit short-sighted. Just thinking maybe some, ooh, that's valuable, maybe. Thinking a little, like, you know... Extra action here shouldn't be too hard to maintain. Ha! Ah! Another half red heart. There's value there. I know what you're thinking. How's this guy gonna fuck it up? I'm starting to think we might not. Believe it or not. Ideally. Oh, that was so dumb. Ah, that was even dumber. I didn't get any red hearts paid out either. Um, we have the Polaroid, but the po permanent Polaroid invincibility means nothing for us at this point. So we might as well take this and take this. Uh, I was really hoping to get some black hearts out of it. I gotta be real with you. I don't know if we have the HP to make this happen on this floor. I think it's conceivable that we could make it happen on the next floor, but there has to be a self-sacrifice room. If there's not a self-sacrifice room, we could AWAS and then hope for a self-sacrifice room later, which I think is what I'm going to do. I know this seems like a, a cop-out, but I really feel like we can't do it. It's a fool's mate. We'll take a uh, fool's gambit, I should say. We'll take a lot of damage and then die. Um, there is a self-sacrifice room available on this floor. So, as far as I'm concerned, as of right now, we've made the right decision. There's also an arcade, which at the very least seems like it could provide like more seams for us to get a little freaky. We can also beat Mom's heart. I mean, we're doing one extra floor, right? So we can beat Mom's heart. Oh, that was two hits? Obviously, I gotta stop doing dumb stuff like that if we're gonna make this happen. No tinted rocks again, huh? Oh, actually, there is totally a tinted rock. Burkano. At this point, it's better. Uh, we gotta go for it, right? Let's let's give this a shot. This is fine. We're gonna walk out a little bit. Actually, you know what? I think we're gonna play it one more time for now. Check this shit out. Now we're gonna pick this up. 
And we're gonna take this into our boss trap room and give it the old college try. If this doesn't work, we'll look like idiots, but at least we've tried, you know? That's just two keys. Hoping for something a little bit more than that, but at least we get the inherent point bonus for even having tried this, you know? Plus, there's a small chance we could maybe get some red hearts back from doing this, or a spirit heart for that matter. If you're wondering why I took the spirit heart, it's exclusively to protect us while we do this boss trap room. So, I mean, it's a bad idea because we can't use it ever again, but it's a good idea because it means we're not one hit away from death, literally. Let's go to some more rooms, try to get some charges here. That was amazing. It's ex extremely lucky that I had little brimstone, like, exactly dialed in where it needed to be. How did one fly and one shot not kill you? That's that's remarkable to me. I guess we're going to try to double the red heart that's back here. It, it seems kind of shitty, but... I guess the other thing we could do is come into the arcade. I know we have a, a chance to double right now, but like... Let's, let's come back into the arcade here. Oh, that's pretty good. This would be sweet. This would also be sweet. That sucks. In our arcade, I was looking for something a little bit more than this, which just ruins me. Okay, so that's just a waste of our time then. Okay, let's try to double this one up. N. Gives us Blank Rune again. Which gave us Hagalaz. Alrighty. Well, okay, I'll tell you what, we'll pick that one up. Hoping to get the 7 Spirit Heart payout, which if we do, we're set, but... What do you think? I think we should go for it. Good stuff. I mean, not good stuff, but like not... Soul sundering, you know, death is around the corner stuff. Um, well, we pretty much just got to keep a move on, huh? That's like five plays. We don't have to get to twelve. We ideally just have to get to the one that actually pays out with spirit hearts fifty percent of the time or whatever it is. So, I mean, we might end up having to scrounge a little harder than I'd like, but we we also may get carried if we just uh, if we get lucky a little bit or a lot. Is it a tinted rock? It is not. I'm looking, finding tinted rocks in all the wrong places here. And by finding, I mean, like, not at all finding tinted rocks. Nice. Thank you, flies. Thank you, bombs. Secret room, maybe? Okay. Okay. It's not really what I wanted, but it's something. Red hearts? No red hearts. Red hearts, maybe? No red hearts. Okay. Okay, <laughs> we're still in it. These guys are gonna pay out with red hearts. I can feel it in my fucking bones. You got a red heart for me. Oh, Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream, bring me a dream, bring me the reddest heart that I've ever seen, I've ever seen. Um, no more keys. Hagalize uh, has not found us a black market, seemingly. A battery charge. I don't know, man. I'm holding this charge for now. Oh, red hearts. Red hearts. Red hearts. Okay, this is good. This is good. Don't freak out yet. Bloody penny. Why would you ever do that? You freaking... What is this? The magician? Oh, you Yera this. Oh, you're gonna Yera, Yera a little bit of this, if you know what I mean. The Gaz! The Gaz is good. Freaking double magician. Oh, you're too kind. Okay. Now, it lives. Thinking, number one thing, just survive. Because, please remember, I could just AWAS down to the next floor. If we're definitely not gonna be able to get the self-sacrifice avenue to pay out, we can just fucking book it, man. We could also just end the run. But I'd really like to get the self-sacrifice room to pay out. He dropped a red heart. You are the greatest creature on God's green earth. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Don't you know that you are a shooting star? And the whole world will love you just as long. 
As long as you are. It's been a while since I played uh, Rock Band 3. Well, we have no other avenues to explore for HP, right? So it's pretty much like we're basically all in. That's not a huge help. Oh, fuck. Um, let's do it, team. I'm ready. So we just, like, lose now, right? Unless this is to Gaz. And is fucking Hagalaz. Well, no one out there can say that I didn't fucking try, right? I pushed it to the limit, past the point of no return. Don't look now. Something, something, gonna win it. I can't believe out of all these options, we also did not get an Awaz rune on this floor. Like, that's, that's a huge bummer to me. I put in the I put in the man hours, but you know this is RNG. Shit happens, goes right, it goes wrong. I still think we can be happy with today's daily, even though it didn't turn out the way that we expected or ideally wanted. We're gonna be at twenty three thousand, rank six one six. I think that's roughly fair. Um, but we could have been top one hundred for sure. Thanks for watching, though. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.